Hello everybody, I'm Miss Laura from Manhattan Public Library and I want to welcome you to another session of Zufari Tale Storytime online. This month we have a really fun animal that we'll be hearing a story about. But first, let's start out with an opening song. So my very first animal that we're going to pretend to be like is an elephant. Yay! So elephants like to make noises and they also like to stomp around. So the first thing we'll do is stomp around. You can also make an elephant sound if you want to. Ready? Here we go. If you're an elephant and you know it, stomp around. If you're an elephant and you know it, stomp around. If you're an elephant and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're an elephant and you know it, stomp around. Roar! Good job. All right, let's get the next animal. This one is a really, really big cat. Let's see what it is. It's a lion. That's right. So we're going to roar. Ready? If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. Roar. If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. Roar. If you're a lion and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. 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 Ooh. Good roaring. All right. The last animal I have is what we'll have stories about today. And it's a smaller animal that actually lives around here and in our country. And it's an opossum. Look at how cute. This is a paper opossum that I made. Sometimes we call them possums, but their actual name is opossum. So sometimes opossums like to hang from their tails upside down. So I'm going to try to do that. Maybe you can try too. If I had a tail, I'll pretend. Okay, ready? If you're an opossum and you know it, hang upside down. Woo! If you're an opossum and you know it, hang upside down. Woo! If you're an opossum and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're an opossum and you know it, hang upside down. Woo! Good job. Way to go. So I have a story to read you uh, today and it's about these cool creatures, opossums like I mentioned in the opening song. And you know, a lot of times I thought that we just called them possums. We got rid of the O. And you can call them possums, but their actual names are opossums, which sounds even more fun, huh? So I'm not gonna read you this book, but it's a very good one that tells you great facts about opossums. You can maybe check it out from our library later. I am going to read you another book that's a little bit silly and it's called Playing Possum by Jennifer Black Reinhardt. She wrote all of the words and she also illustrated all of the pictures. So let's see what happens. Ready? Playing Possum. Oh! There's our possum friend, hanging from a tree. Alfred was born a possum. And when a possum feels nervous, it freezes and plays dead. This was unfortunate for Alfred. He was a very nervous possum. He has very, very wide eyes. What do you look like when you're nervous? Do you ever look a little scared? That's how Alfred feels. Because of his nervous nature, Alfred felt uncomfortable being the focus of attention, any attention. So he did not do very well at school. The blackboard says, quiz today, raise your hand, claw, talon, fin, hoof, wing, etc. for attendance before you begin. Good luck. He did not excel at sports. He's swimming down there. Not too good of a swimmer. And making friends was too terrifying to contemplate. Alfred was a very lonely possum. So he was so scared that he fell down and froze. He didn't know what to do. One day, Alfred noticed Sophia. What kind of animal do you think she is? 
Hmm, let's see if it tells us. Sophia was born an armadillo. Ha, huh. pretty cool, huh? And when an armadillo feels nervous, what happens? It curls into a ball. Meeting someone new can be scary. Feeling a little bit scared there, huh? After a little while, they both felt calmer. Alfred unfroze and Sophia unfurled. And as they stared at each other, they realized they had something in common. So what do you think is the same about Sophia the armadillo and Alfred the possum? I bet you might be able to guess. When they were together, knowing this made them feel safe. So they both felt a little nervous. But that made them feel better because they knew they weren't alone. When Sophia curled up, Alfred just waited. When Alfred froze, Sophia just waited. So Alfred's drawing and Sophia looks like she might be knitting. <laughs> so they're friends together. They began to trust that when they became themselves again, they would see a friend. Alfred hardly ever froze and Sophia was rarely round. So they're walking together and singing. <laughs> it took some patience, a lot of understanding, and a little forgiveness. But before long, making friends became easier and so did other scary things. So there's other friends too here. So there's a skunk, there's a goat that faints when it's nervous. A hedgehog, tortoise, lots of animals. And this was fortunate. Oh, looks like they're having a lot of fun together, huh? For everyone. So there's Sophia and Alfred together. Looks like Alfred's painting. And there's a rainbow. Beautiful. That's the end. And in the very back, the author lists some other animals that you saw in the book. And it talks about sometimes how they freeze when they're nervous or anxious or threatened. And there's lots of very cool information about them right here. Can look at some time. Come to the library and check this one out. Pretty great book. Playing Possum. So this song is called Three Little Opossums. So do you have three fingers? I've got three right here. One, two, three. And we're actually going to have our three little opossums hang upside down like they're in a tree. Cool? All right. So you can watch me and we'll do some actions together. This is a song sung to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Ready? Mr. Moon, what do you see? Three little opossums hanging in a tree. Shiny black eyes in the night with whiskers and snouts of white. Hairless tails and bodies gray. But one little opossum just ran away. Oh! So now how many opossums do we have? We have two, right? I'm gonna hang upside down again. You ready? Mr. Moon, what do you see? Two little opossums hanging in a tree. Shiny black eyes in the night with whiskers and snouts of white. Hairless tails and bodies gray. But one little opossum just ran away. <laughs> oh gosh. So now how many opossums do we have left? We just have one, right? It's going to hang upside down too. Ready? Mr. Moon, what do you see? One little opossum hanging in a tree. Shiny black eyes in the night. With whiskers and snout of white. Hairless tail and body gray, but one little opossum just ran away. Oh, well now how many opossums do we have? 
Oh, there aren't any more. Bye, opossums. See you later.